Just before we start, I'd like to clarify that I'm not doing this for every episode. I'm only doing it for like episodes that actually have any noteworthy animation or animation directors working on it. So I won't be doing this every single week. I might do it for Yu-Gi-Oh! 7 if the animation quality improves, but yeah, this is how it's going to be for now. Ugh, really nice to be getting a good polished looking episode this week after just weeks of just meh episodes it's really refreshing anyway uh let's run down the star for 113 right for this episode we have kimiharu muto as episode director junki takagami doing scripts shoji nishida handling storyboards yuka abara Yuya Kawamura and Yuki Ushiro on animation direction. Alright, starting off, I'd like to talk about the storyboarding in this episode, which was actually pretty strong, right up there with Ryuta's storyboards. Shoji likes to use other characters or objects when framing certain shots. It's actually a pretty useful technique that I really enjoyed and liked. Shoji is actually a pretty new, pretty new to the franchise, first appearing in episode 71 of Arc 5. Before that, he worked on Gallup's other project called Ojamaru. This episode was actually pretty polished, pretty on model, overall looked pretty good. Um, Yuko, Yuya, and Yuki are by far some of Reigns' strongest animation directors. First off, we have Gallup veteran Yuka Abara handling the first half of the episode. Her corrections are more soft and rounded. We mostly see this with Robot, who looks especially cute in this episode, even the section where she insults Soulburner's intelligence. This section includes a lot of reused animation, including Junpei's Salomon Great Mirage Stalio Xyz Summon Cut, which still, of course, looks great. This section of the episode ends off with I celebrating finally getting to see the two King Beasts going head to head. The facial expressions here are pretty good overall, but I probably would have preferred a bit more character acting animation, because I is the type of character who would need a lot of expressive character acting animation. The second half of the episode is handled by Yuya Kawamura and Yuki Ushiro. I'd kind of like to apologize in advance. Both Yuki and Yuya are kind of similar, so I'm not really able to um, differentiate between either of their styles, so I can't really tell who corrected what cut. But besides all that, this is actually my favorite part of the episode as it actually contains some good and decent animation. Akemi Okata, who's usually credited as animation director in Vrains, has been quite absent, especially through season 2. She's actually credited in this episode as key animator and you can actually see one of her cuts or stills, which isn't actually heavily corrected. Next up is probably the biggest highlight of the episode, which is the scene where Heat Leo is violently wrapped up in a lot of clothing, animated by Junpei Ogawa, of course. I truly love the truly rough and inky smears he uses here to emphasize speed and impact. It's really well done, very Junpei-ish, but also kind of very violent, honestly. He also shows up earlier in the episode animating Heat Leo's fire tornado attack, which was also well done, but very conservative. Moving on to episode 114, um, I'm not gonna run down the stuff for this section as I don't want to like make this video very long. I probably just have their names on screen. So Maski Honda was soloing as AD in this episode instead of her usual team up with Emiko Katoka. This is new, but not strange. This episode had 8 key animators and 10 plus second key animators, which would explain why 
Matsuki was soloing this episode as there wouldn't have been a lot of cuts to correct. The high number of key animators basically indicates that there was probably a lot of rough or unfinished key animation. So they likely had to come in, finish and polish them up a bit before handing them over to the animation director. We don't have a lot of um, animation highlights in this episode as it was very conservative and had a lot of reused animation. Particularly Junpei's reused explosion cut from episode 107. Something else I thought that was worth mentioning is how they drew and handled Robopi's demonic crazy faces. Although crude, I did think, think that these were actually very well done. It's not Ebina, but at least they were actually still well done. And that concludes it for episode 113 and 114's animation highlights. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I, I kind of wrote a script for this episode, considering a lot of people suggested that I should. Um, I'm not entirely, like, um, very used to this sort of method, as it's kind of, but it is a lot better to do, as I kind of stutter a little, bit a little bit less, because I do have a problem with stuttering. But I think it kind of went well. What well, honestly, we'll see. Just tell me any like feedback, <laughs> like suggest any like feedback you, sh you can like give me for this. Maybe anything I can improve on, maybe editing wise. Uh, but yeah, uh, thank you for watching. I don't really intend on monetizing any of these, so I'm just kind of doing this for fun because I'm more interested in the animation aspect of Yu Gi Oh! But yeah, thanks for watching and have a great day. Listen, boys and girls,